You're watching Morning Live. Time out for a very, very interesting interview. He's known to be South Africa's very own rocket scientist, having studied at Harvard University in the USA, where he was trying to save the planet by developing a new energy technology. He received two grand awards, one at the 58th Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, and the other one that actually paved the way for him, Dr. Derek Gray Memorial Award for the most prestigious project in South Africa in 2006. From there on, a brilliant engineer was made. Also, we'll be in line to speak at the Success Summit tomorrow. Joining us is Sia Kluza. It's awesome to have you in studio to be chatting to you. Sia, thank you very much for speaking to Morning Live. Thank you very much for having me here and hello to all the listeners at home. Now, most people, they take one look at you and they say, is that the correct intro? He's too young, 25, and what a life you have led so far. And it all started with blowing up your mom's kitchen. Yeah, you know, it, it's those small, humble beginnings. Um, you know, I, I was a deeply, deeply curious kid, and my journey started off with me wanting to make uh, rocket fuel. But going into my mom's kitchen, obviously behind her back, and experimenting and failing multiple times, blowing it up, getting caught, but, but never giving up. <laughs> And that's where it was all in an effort to actually create rocket fuel. Yeah, I just, you know, I was a curious kid. I just wanted to make my own rocket fuel, fly something and just see it, you know, disappear into the sky. I didn't understand, obviously, that I'd, I'd be almost blowing myself up, but I was just <laughs> deeply curious. And, um, and that was my channel for curiosity. And you went about going to libraries, getting all the information you could about what rocket fuel was about, what actually made things fly. And that's how you went about experimenting. Exactly. You know, I didn't, you know, quite often we wait for excuses to say, I must wait for my PhD in chemistry, or I need to wait to have all these resources. I started with what I had. And I was so keen to see African innovation. Um, you know, because quite often Africans, as South Africans, we need to solve, develop our own technologies for our own problems, instead of always borrowing ideas and so you know I went to my mom's kitchen because that's where behind her back obviously I could experiment and and really try things out and not be afraid of failing. You've come such a far away from there you've even got a planet named after you the Sea Eclusa <laughs> planet which I believe is close to Jupiter so how did that come about? So as a result of me um, winning at the 58th um, International Science and Engineering Fair in America winning a first place there NASA then named a minor planet Usia Kuza. I don't know how they pronounce that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere out there in the Jupiter asteroid belt. And it's, I didn't, you know, it was, I couldn't imagine that I'd one day start off with rocket fuel and have a planet. It was beyond me, but uh, it's somewhere out there. And now you are one of the youngest members uh, as part of Africa 2.0, and yes. you guys are doing groundbreaking stuff. Yes, in fact, part of my time at Harvard actually realized me to the broader issues at stake about Africa's development. And I realized that, you know, we, we, energy is a big um, constraint to our growth as, as, um, as a continent, but it's also one of the biggest opportunities. And part of Africa 2.0 is about learning how do we develop solutions for energy, for African energy, given our abundance of solar, our abundance of all these natural resources, how can we use technology to actually unlock those industries? And so that's, um, that's part of the role um, that I contribute being part of the Africa 2.0 Energy Advisory Panel. And you also have created a battery cell. Yes, so also what I, what I, another point that I became um, very passionate about at Harvard was energy storage. Because I think, you know, it's not generation, you know, making the energy, it's storage, which is a critical issue. But not just storage for, you know, big systems, but, you know, having enough power to power your cell phone or power those small devices. And I think there was a big opportunity, so I spent the past year at Harvard um, developing um, uh, what is known as a fuel cell which is a technology that could potentially replace batteries that we see in cell phones today. But at this time at Harvard, I wasn't in my mom's kitchen now, I was at the real deal. But it was that humble beginning that started back then and that eventually found me to Harvard and MIT when I was now doing the real deal. And you're going to be speaking at the Success Summit. And what would you say is going to be the main theme, the one thing that you want to leave business owners with and those people, those entrepreneurs that are going to be coming to listen to you speak? What would you like to leave them with tomorrow when you speak? 
the main, the main essence of my message tomorrow will be about disruptive innovation. That for businesses and entrepreneurs to succeed in today's highly globally, highly competitive um, global economy is that you need to be competitive. And by com you, you compete by being, by out thinking, thinking out of the box. You know, it could be, it might not be rocket fuel, it might not be new fuel cells, but the pattern for innovation is the same. And that is, if we're going to become competitive as a country, as, an, um, as a continent, we need to develop African innovations. And that's what I want to leave, disruptive innovations. Lovely stuff. So thinking outside of the box here, Kluza, it has been awesome to chat to you this morning. You really have given many of us food for thought. All the best of luck at your talk at the Success Summit. That's it, Kluza. Not only has he got a uh, planet named after him, he comes from very humble beginnings in Mtata, Eastern Cape, and now he's taking on the rest of the world. He'll be speaking at tomorrow's Success Summit. Stay with The Morning Live.